Responses? I recognize the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and it's always an honour to rise on behalf of my constituents of Scarborough Guildwood, but today as the Ontario Liberal critic for the finance portfolio. And, you know, I want to commend uh, the minister for his first speech, and um, I know he and his team have put a lot into this. But I am sad to say, Speaker, what I see here falls well short of what Ontarians need. We are still in the midst of a global pandemic. We still are staring down the barrel of a fifth wave of COVID-19. Yet this government has chosen to take a premature victory lap and has not provided the provisions in this fall economic statement that are needed for us to continue to fight COVID and to ensure that Ontario has a full economic recovery. So many people are left out and left behind and are not mentioned in today's statement. The fall economic statement represents Premier Ford's last chance to show Ontarians that he's serious about delivering the supports that are so urgently needed. What we need in this province, Mr. Speaker, is a generational change, and today's fall economic statement falls well short of that. A tiny paragraph on climate change. Can you imagine that? We're in the week, in fact, of climate, of the environmental week. We have COP26 going on. You have a minister that you sent there, yet you couldn't bother to actually put forward a plan that ensures that Ontario makes its contribution to saving this planet. Just a junket. The cho you've chosen instead to double down on things like highways and bypasses instead of education, where children, youth and families so desperately need that investment. Why are you cutting $500 million out of the education bu budget? This is an absolute disgrace. Mr. Speaker, what about childcare? We have been pleading with this government to respond to the federal government's $10 a day childcare so that we can give relief to families, yet nothing is mentioned when it comes to that. What about women and the economic recovery that is due? We've talked about the she session. We've talked about the she recovery. And you know, I respect the fact, and I have read as quickly as I can your statement. I respect the fact that you have five million dollars for BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and people of color, as well as women. But five million dollars for entrepreneurs is not nearly enough to address the fact that women's economic recovery is lagging. So, Mr. Speaker, there's more that I could say. Small businesses have been given a kick in the teeth. They have to now cope with a $15 an hour minimum wage, and there is no third round of grant to help them. So this fall economic statement has not delivered for the people of this province, and this government needs to do better. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.